Hello guys, Ingo here from Common and Ingo Photography. Um, I would like to give you a little introduction in our print preset volume 2 section. Um, we have been uh, selling print presets since a couple of years and they have been extremely useful for us. And uh, We have added a couple of new ones to the, the whole package and uh, they are available separated now in the, our store. So here we go and let's start with importing them into your Lightroom. Um, you need to be in the print module to make this work. If you are in any other of the modules and try to import print preset, it doesn't work. So go here, create a new folder. Let's say you can the presets or let's say it's print print presets volume 2 and you create them and you go and import them. So I've been here print presets volume 2 and we import them. Yeah, and we have another set. We can import them in the version 2 uh, folder that or you can even import your version 2 in the version 1 folder. That doesn't matter. But we just import it here. So we have a whole lot of print presets now here. There are different kinds of. Let me go and show you the ones who are new first. For example, if you're having like a contact sheet um, and you want like to send out a quick paper a PDF or JPEGs to your clients to have them ha to make them have a look at your photos with their with the name attached on it. You can use that one here. If you rotate to fit, um, if you decheck that up there, you don't have the full size of the of the possible um, area in that contact sheet. But this is depending on if it's digital or printed out. If you have a digital one, we prefer to not rotate them, but make them visible for the user. Um, they're in portrait style, like in, in your printed sheet. Again, rotate the fit depends on if you want them to be on a printed paper. So um, then we have, for example, um, cool things for your um, Instagram. For example, we do have a lot of Instagram shots and we want to have them on in one JPEG. And we don't have, for example, if you don't have Photoshop, uh, you can't put these um, collections together very quickly. In Lightroom, you can. And here's one with border, here's a without border. You can even have more, uh, like 25 on it with a border or without a border. You can play with this, you can move, you can of course select and and, and choose different ones. You can you can always change something whatever you want here, but it works pretty nice for us at the moment. And then there's one more thing uh, we have experienced is that if you're having um, a watermarked picture, um, you cannot drag and drop it in the standard export watermark feature. This has its limits and if you're looking at it you can you can you can choose where you want to have it but a lot of times you don't have it where you really want to have it. So we created one preset only for purpose of uh, creating your photo with a watermark very quickly and uh, this is the template for it. There's one in landscape and one in portrait. Of course uh, that's a little bit different. If you download the, these presets and if you install them, you won't have this kind of watermark here. This is just to show you how it works because you have to set your identity plate um, and use your identity plate or use your custom identity plate to make this work. So you won't have our logo on it, but it's prepared for you to have it. There's a little portrait over landscape where you can drag and drop to put a little setup together here with I don't know, with a couple of photos you, you might want to add. And this is a great way, if you don't want how to do it, to start with. You can even delete stuff here and make this even wider and whatever you want and then adjust it with another photo and whatever. How to export this. For example, we have our, our Lightroom set up for the Instagram photos and we want a 5x5 Instagram, these are 25 Instagrams with a border and I go here to print to file 
Instagram candy test. This is a JPEG and you export it and it, if it go into your Lightroom, here is the export and this is done. It's a little setup, a little easy tool. So um, this, this has been the second version. There are a lot of other presets as you can see. You can try them through. The most used um, preset for the print module we have is um, this one, the Candy Combo Portrait, because you simply drag and drop your portrait photos in there to make a side-by-side -side combination. You print your file and you save it as a test, whatever, JPEG, and uh, it exports it to wherever you want to save it as a JPEG, and um, this is what you what you have done in like uh, a fraction of a second to make it look nicely next to each other. This is what you can use for a blog. There are thousands of tools and stuff out there. We use this and it works nice for us. This is just a quick tutorial how we use the Candy um, print preset. Um, feel free to drop us a message if you have further questions on any of the social media and um, have fun with the presets. They're very, very helpful for us. I give a, um, our new Candy Preset Volume 2 a look as well. They might save you a ton of work. Have a good time and see you soon.